Hi there, this is Mo Fine, and I'm going to teach you guys something real quick about a text masking tool. And basically, what I have here is the word texture on a solid white background, and the word texture is written in black font. Now, let's say you want this font, this word, to have more personality by taking on a background of a photograph or of a texture, which we will do in this case. So basically, you want to take this word and make it look like that. Well, how do you get that color behind there? Well, what you want to do is you want to start off with a texture or a photograph of some sort. And I got this one off the internet. If you type in the word texture, um, look under images, you'll find a bunch of different images and textures and backgrounds that you can use. Um, first thing you want to do, though, is you want to make sure that your background isn't locked because we're going to be using it um, and moving it around a little bit. So uh, what you want to do is when it's locked is you just click and then... Uh, give it a new name. We'll call this background texture. Yeah, hit OK. Alright, so this is actually a pretty simple tutorial here. Um, when you go to the type tool, um, it normally looks like this. The, this T is the default. But if you click on the black arrow under here, you'll notice that there are four other, there are three other tools that you can use. The vertical type tool, the horizontal type mask tool and the vertical type mask tool. What we're going to use in this case is the horizontal type mask tool because what we want to do is we want to mask out what we don't want and use the text as a mask. And so I'll show you how that happens. So basically you just click on that tool and as you see it changes in the toolbox. And then what you do is you just take your cursor and you bring it over your canvas and you click on your mouse and what happens is a red sheen shows up. And that's kind of it's like tracing paper, but you're going to like carve out of it with this, with the text that you write, what, what part of the background you want and which part you want to disregard. So um, basically you got your type tool ready to go. I just moved it over so we can type right in the middle. And I had the word, I had the, uh, the, the, the um, font impact uh, because it's nice and thick and I really want the, the background to show up. So and I'm going to type the word texture in capitals. And, uh, move it over you can move it around a little bit and uh, see you know where where you want to go but you can see how a um, when texture was written out it's no longer like a big solid black or white color it actually has a, a kind of like a transparent look to it and that's basically because we're seeing what's behind the red tracing paper and that is what we're gonna want to cut out and then so basically once you get your your word aligned and centered up where you want it to be, you go back to your selector tool in your toolbox and as you notice as soon as you click on it a marquee is uh, is uh, put around the, the letters and you have a selection. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to have somewhere to bring it to. So either bringing it on a photograph or in my case uh, or in this case here we're going to just bring it on this white background. Alright so we're all ready to do that and I'm going to basically line these up side by side just for this purpose you can see what's going to happen. Basically uh, you make sure you're in your selector tool and if you uh, take the cursor and you're not over the selected area you still get the, the little crosshairs in the arrow but when you take the cursor and you put it directly over the selected area that cursor turns into a scissors and now all you do is click and you can your mouse you know you click the mouse and you drag it and then you can just drag it right on top of your other canvas and boom there you go you got a nice texture so anyways that's a simple way of creating a text mask background um, if you want to learn any other cool tips and tricks uh, keep checking back at our this YouTube page or at our website www.bigpictureworkshops.net and also if you're interested in, in workshops um, Big Picture Workshops is located in downtown Seattle and uh, you should check our schedule at our website I uh, hope to see you.